Hey, how y'all doing? Tonight on Southern Coastal Cooking, we're going to be cooking up a pork butt just like I like to do on the weekends. Making a change here, I want to show y'all, we're going to be using lumberjack pellets from now on here. I uh, was using those old Traeger pellets and I did a lot of research. And I mean, you can go on all these barbecue forums and everything like that on the internet. And they say these lumberjack barbecue pellets are a whole lot better and just those old Traeger pellets. See them old Traeger pellets and stuff like that are made out of uh, just wood and just filler wood and oils and stuff like that to give them flavor. To where these guys, they're going to made out of the pure woods or either a wood mixture. It'll tell you, it'll break it down to, there for you. Tonight, we're going to be using the peach. And see, I got to break down all these different grilling pellets that everyone used. Uh, not the peach, I'm sorry, the cherry. Use the 100% cherry. It's mild, fruity, giving a rose color to all meats, great with pork, seafood, poultry, and game birds. So I want to go ahead and use the cherry. Let me show you this. Right here, cherry grilling pellets. So see this is 100% cherry. I don't know if you can see it on there. We're going to fill the tray over here. Oh yeah. Fill my hot goods there. You want to make sure that it's nice and full. Uh, you don't want to run out of pellets in the middle of the night, no matter what. So we'll put this guy on smoke. Close the hopper up here, and we'll turn him on. And let him get going. We're we'll gonna go get that pork butt here in a few minutes. We got these cherry pellets. Oh, they're gonna be good, y'all. All right, y'all. We're getting ready to put the pig on the barbie here. Now, I injected this pig actually with a little bit of apple juice concentrate and apple vinegar. Uh, new thing I wanted to try, and of course I rubbed it down with the uh, pig's blanket rub and a little bit of a tomato spice and some cheddar rub, that's what he calls it. I'm going to take this, we'll set it on the grill real quick. I think I'm going to leave it on this cooking cooking rack. Right? Right, now that I got it on there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get my tap cue. We're going to program that thing up. We'll just plug it up, really. And I'm going to put some probes in it. Y'all, first off, I'm going to put me a probe right here into the, uh, into the pig. Biggest part down here. Just stick right there on into the middle. Right? Run this probe at the back over here. Plenty of line on these tap key probes. That's good. That's a really good thing. If you move the tap key over across the room or something like that, we're going to plug it in and get your Wi Fi and all that stuff. So, there we go. So, we're going to make sure we leave this hanging down for a minute. Put that off there. Alright. And then we're going to take our other probe. I'm going to use this for an um, ambient temperature probe here. See that's this other probe? You can see, put one of these little grill grate gillies. Put this thing in there. Oh, there you go. You just squeeze it like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. You all can kind of see what I'm doing. I just want to keep the uh, Great temperature for what's going on here. So we'll know. Put this back this way, I guess. About right here. Right here. Right, right there. And that's just at the uh, at the level. Of the, uh, of the meat, so that'll be real good. I'll go ahead and run this probe back through there too. I'm gonna get this thing hooked up. We got both the probes in. Now I'm gonna plug them into the tap cue back there, 
and we'll be to get that Wi-Fi signal. Alright y'all, so I got my probes plugged into my tap Q over here. You can see it over here, I'm just sitting over here on this table. Well, no need to have to read off it or anything like that. Close this bad boy up. So we got still a little smoke here. And we'll start us a smoke session right here on my phone. And watch this, we go to the, the Tap the Q app. Right? And we're going to... Uh, set up a new set. We're going to actually set up a new session. So, we're going to go back. Start a new session. Right here. And we're going to call it Pork Cook. P O R K. Alright. Next. I don't know if y'all can see that. Tap Q's in use. Alright. Here we go. Call this the Pork Cook. Next. Oop. Oh, we select the probe. We got probe number one. Probe number one is going to be the pork, okay? So I'm going to go down here and we'll select that. Pork. Shoulder butt. Shank. Right? And then number two is going to be chamber. Pork chamber. So right there. Then we'll hit next. Right? So on a pork butt shank, your minimum is 180, your maximum is 205. That sounds real good to me. And on the chamber, 200 to 225. That sounds good. Go ahead and do it next here. Hopefully y'all can see. Turn it to my iPhone here. Hope y'all can see that or not. And then we're going to start session. Alright, we can view current session here. And that's what we're doing. And we just want to see the current temperatures. Should let us know that in just a second. As soon as the Wi-Fi hooks up. Kind of showing y'all this in real time. Thanks a second. Hit the refresh button. There it goes, right there, connected. So we got the port shoulder butts at 51 degrees. And that's on our probe number one. Let's go over here to probe number two. And we're at 209 in the cooking chamber. So that's real good. We'll have that information online from way back in the bedroom, across the street, down the woods, whatever we want to do, right there on the tap queue. So we're getting this pork butt going, which is 100% cherry, with that apple injection rubbed down with that pig blanket. I think it's going to be real good, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's about 10 in the morning here. I went ahead and I wrapped this dude up just now. It was 185 degrees when it wrapped. Oh, I want to bring it up to about 195. And uh, I'm going to turn the grill up just a little bit to about medium here. So I want to go ahead and just bring that on. Just uh, go ahead and get it done on that, uh, those cherry pellets. And then we'll roll with that. Uh, as soon as it gets up to about 195, 198, we'll take it out. I'm going to put it in the cooler. Got y'all some internal temp on the pork. It's come up to about 200 degrees. What I'm going to do now, we'll go ahead and take this dude off. I love these little probes here. Um, we'll take this thing off. I'm going to wrap it in the towel. We'll put it in the Yeti and let it rest for an hour or so. What we do, we get it wrapped up just like this. Put it in the cooler over here. Close it up. And this, you know, for an hour or so until lunchtime, this will keep it nice and warm and let everything rest here. We get the perfect, uh, perfect temple on everything. Ooh, this thing is an uneven table. Let me sit down here on the ground, y'all. Alright, y'all. Now that the pork is rested for about two hours, go ahead and unwrap it here. Remember, this was rubbed down with a Dizzy Pig rub and also, uh, oh wow, of course get that. Also injected with the apple juice. So, it'll be really good. Go ahead and try to kind of pull it apart here. You can even hold it together to get it turned over. Look at that. I'm talking about. Look at that pork. Man, that, that, that's wonderful right there. That's what you want to see. You have to get a rind on there. Yes, sir. Beautiful pork. 
with that. Oh wow, it's still really hot too. Got good smoke ring on that. And that bone right there just comes off clean. That's some good stuff there, y'all. That. There's your bone right there. Boom. Clean as can be. Let's get this taste right here with some, a little bit of bark on it. I just can't wait to taste this with this apple juice injection. Really good. Mmm. 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 That's fine. Yes, sir, that is loaded with flavor. I have to try that again. The apple juice kicked it up a little bit of notch with the um with that pig's blanket rub. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, really good. And the uh lumberjack pellets, yeah, they did good too. Give that nice, nice little little hint, that cherry smoke. Clip to purple, y'all. Anyway, y'all tune back in. Please like my videos, sub my channel. Thank y'all very much.